Hi, I'm QDC. What we're about to build today is Tamiya's British Infantry on Patrol and also Berlin Productions uh, British Sherman Firefly. This particular kit has only figures and in this particular kit it has both figures and accessories for a Sherman Firefly tank. This is part one in a two part series in which I'm going to build a diorama called uh, Sherman Firefly based on Dragon's Sherman Firefly tank. So let's go start building these two kits right now. Let's go take a look inside each box. Over here in the Tomia box there are three plastic sprues. This sprue contains the figures and these two sprues contain the accessories. Over here in the Verlin Productions box, there are um, there is one plastic bag containing resin parts for both the figures and also parts for the tank accessories. I want to talk to you about working with resin parts. The kit from Verlingen Productions is made out of resin and working with resin is quite different than working with plastic. When you uh, remove a part from a resin kit, you need to um, use special tools and one of the special tools that I like to use is a razor saw right here. By using a razor saw or any other type of tools to remove um, a resin, you're going to generate dust and that dust is quite toxic. And so it's always a good idea to wear a face mask like the one I'm pointing right here. And to glue the um, resin parts together, you cannot use uh, uh, ordinary plastic model cement. You're going to have to use either um, super glue or epoxy glue. I want to talk to you about the rifle sling that I just made for this figure. The rifle sling was made um, from an old photo etch part right here. What I've done was I used a pair of scissors and I simply just carefully made a very um, thin sliver of the photo etch fret and glued it onto the, uh, onto the rifle to make the sling. All right, so we built the figures, and now it's time for me to show you what I think about these figures so far. Take a look. These are the completed model figures before painting, and I like them. I like both the Tamiya figures and the Verling in production figures. What is really good and surprising to me are the Tamiya figures. I work with other Tamiya kits uh, with, with their figures and they don't look that good compared to these figures. These figures from Tamiya from this model kit 
are very nice. Highly detailed, good facial expressions, and even the back looks pretty nice as well. And for the Verdanine production figures, these resin figures are very nice. Highly detailed, and I like them. It's time for me to paint the figures. I'm going to uh, give some shadows to my figures. I want you to pay attention on to this old advertisement. If you look at this man, a drawing of this man, I want you to pay attention on to this man's sleeve. Right over here where it bends is a shadow. You notice the shadow is dark right here and then as it gradually um, leaves the center it gets a lighter uh, gray almost to um, a very light gray up into the highlight right over here. And I'm going to mimic that onto my model figure. I'm painting the shadows. I'm going to give some highlights. I want to focus your attention back onto this drawing of this man. If you focus your attention back onto the man's sleeve, you notice right over here is the highlight, which is represented by a lighter color. As it gradually goes to a fold right over here, it gets a little bit darker and darker and darker, where it finally reaches a dark shadow. And I'm going to mimic that onto the figure. I'm painting the highlights. I just finished painting the face and it looks pretty good. There's no way for me to show you how I paint the face because the figure face is very small. So I'm going to have to tell you with words. Here's an old advertisement and how the artist drew this man's face is exactly how I painted my, my figure. You notice that there's highlights on to um, right, right over here on the cheeks, um, a little bit over here on the chin, a little bit over here on the nose, and you notice there's dark shadows underneath the chin, inside the nostrils, inside the ear, and a little bit inside the eye socket. And that's how I actually painted my figure. Okay, so we built the figures, we painted it, and now it's time for me to show you what I think about the entire figure set that we painted. Take a look. These are the completed model figures after painting, and I like my work. It looks very nice to me. And I especially like the uh, the shadows and highlights that are done for the clothing on each figure. Very nice. And the facial expressions looks nice as well. And I like the way I painted the back the back of each uh, uh, the back of each figure. And I have no real complaints about. This, these two kits, very nice. Now, if I had to choose which is the better uh, kit, either the Tamiya kit or the Verlin in Productions, I think that's a toss up really. Because the Verlin in Production figures, the facial expressions are very nice, but this figure, the body posture is very stiff. On the other hand, the Tamiya facial expressions. They don't look as good as the Verlin and production figures, but the body postures looks very natural and realistic. 
So it's a toss-up. They're both equally nice. So I hope this video encouraged you to build a model kit of your own. And please uh, stick around for part two uh, for my next video in which I'm going to build the Sherman Firefly tank from Dragon. I'm QDC. Thanks for watching.